Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can watch Netflix offline. So if you're going somewhere that doesn't have an internet connection, you can still watch your favourite films and TV shows via Netflix as long as you've downloaded that content beforehand. Now this is ideal if you're going away on holiday and you've got a long plane journey ahead of you. You want to keep the children entertained, so you want to bring some movies with you. Now beforehand I used to have to bring various DVDs with me and a DVD player. But now, what I can do is, I can just download some movies onto my tablet or my phones or a little laptop and then they can just watch these on the aeroplane on aeroplane mode so there's no internet connection but the movies are stored on the actual devices themselves via Netflix. So let me show you how this works. Now Netflix Offline works on various devices such as Android devices, Windows 10 devices and also iOS devices like iPods, iPads and iPhones. The amount of devices you can download onto would depend on what plan you're on. So if you're on the basic plan, which is the cheapest plan, you can only download on one device. So if you've downloaded some movies on, for example, this Amazon Fire tablet, then you won't be able to then download something onto a Windows 10 laptop. If you're on a standard plan, you can download on two devices. So for example, you can download something on the iPod, and you can also download something on the Android phone. Now if you're on the premium plan, which is the most expensive one that allows you to watch the 4K content, then you can download onto four devices. So basically I can download on four devices. As soon as you try to download it on the fifth device, it will tell you that you've downloaded on too many devices and you will have to delete some from one of the device, but I will show you that later on in the video. When you download something, it will get stored onto the storage of the device. So for example, on this Amazon tablet here, I've got internal storage, and I've also got a little SD card plugged into it as well. It's up to me where I download the Netflix movies, I can put them on the internal storage or the external storage. Now to give you an idea of how much storage you will need to download the films, I've taken an average film which is an hour 30 minutes, so that's the Minions movie and you've got two options. You can watch it in standard or high. Now if you're watching it in standard, it's roughly about half the amount of storage as watching it in high. Now, when you're watching it in standard, it's only going to be up to 480p. But if you're watching that on something as small as a phone, 480p actually looks really good. There's nothing wrong with that. It's more than watchable. But if you're watching it on something slightly bigger, or for example a laptop, then if you're going to download the movies or the documentaries or the TV series, whatever you're downloading, if you're downloading it in high, and that's going to be up to 1080p depending on the content, then it's roughly going to be twice the amount of standard. So to give you an example, Minions movie is 1 hour 30 minutes, and the standard one takes up 379 megabytes of storage, and the high definition download takes up 793 megabytes. So if you're going to be watching a TV show or a documentary which is only 30 minutes long, then you're going to be dividing these figures by three. So for example, on the standard definition, you're going to be looking at about 125 megabytes. So if you're running low on storage, standard would be absolutely fine, especially on the smaller devices. And remember, a lot of the devices will not go up to 1080p anyway. So some of the devices, if they're only going up to 480p, you might as well download them in standard because you're not going to get any benefit by watching them in high definition and taking up the extra storage. So let's show you how to do this. The process is going to be very similar on them, but to begin with, I'm just going to show you this Amazon Fire tablet, which will be the same as the Android devices. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go to the Netflix app. Now you need to make sure you have the latest version of Netflix downloaded on it. Now, if you go to these little three lines up here and tap there, you will see now you've got an option here that says available for download. So if you were to tap that, it will bring up all the films and documentaries and TV shows that you can download. And it's got them in the same kind of categories as before, like recently added, watch it again, new releases, popular on Netflix, etc., etc. Yep. So let's say now, if you want to do the Minions movie, then you can tap that. And if you have a look now, you've got this little icon here that says download. So if I was just to tap download, then what will happen is it will start downloading it. Now by default it will be set to standard, so if we want to put it on high we need to go to the settings and change that. So I'm just going to cancel this a moment just to show you, so I'm just going to tap that, pretend I've made a mistake now, you can just go to cancel download. Okay, and now let me go back and I'm just going to show you how to change the settings. So hit that icon again and this time we're going to scroll down until it says app settings and just tap on that. 
And now if you have a look here, you've got various different options. Now, one of them, it says Wi-Fi only, because if you were to uncheck this, again, this is checked by default, but if you were to uncheck it, then for example, on your mobile phones, you will be able to use your data to download the movies. But remember, it is gonna be eating into your data allowance per month. So if you've only got 500 megabytes on one of the cheaper plans, then if you're gonna download a movie in high definition, then you've already gone over your data plan because if you've only got 500 megabytes and you download this one movie, then you've already gone 293 megabytes over your plan. So you need to be really careful. So if you've got low data on your mobile cell phone plan, then make sure that you've definitely got Wi-Fi only checked. So here we've got the bit where it says download video quality standard. If I tap that, you can change it to standard or high. Now, it also allows you here to check how much storage you've got. So if you have a look here, this is my internal storage and this is my SD card because I have got an SD card fitted to this Amazon tablet. And as you can see, I'm already using 4.2 gigabytes of my internal on various other things not related to Netflix. Netflix will be in blue. I haven't got anything in blue at the moment because I haven't downloaded anything. And the free space is 1.5 gigabytes. With my SD card, I've only used 1.3 gigabytes and I've got 58 gigabytes free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Netflix movies onto my SD card. So if you have a look down here, it says download location, internal storage. I'm gonna tap that and I'm gonna move it to SD card. Obviously, if you haven't got an SD card connected in there, you're not gonna have the option to change it. And on the download video quality, I'm gonna change it from standard to high. So if I tap that one there, you can now see it's changed to high. The reason I'm doing this is because I've got absolutely loads of storage on the SD card, so that's not a problem. And also, this tablet is a 1024 by 600 resolution display. So that 600 is still gonna be better than watching it in standard, which is only 480p. So although I can't watch it in 1080p, if I've downloaded it in up to 1080p, then that's gonna look better on this display, which goes up to 600, compared to if I only download it in standard, which is 480. So that's the reason I wanna download in high video quality. Okay, so these are the settings. I've got Wi-Fi only, which doesn't make a difference on this because it's just an Amazon tablet, but it would make a difference on your mobile phone. I've got, it's saving to the SD card because I've got so much space on there to save to, and I've got it downloading in a high video quality. Now I'm back on the Netflix homepage now, and there's different ways to look for content to download. You can hit this little menu button up here, and then you can go to available for download, and like before, it will show you everything that's downloadable. Or, if you go back to home, then what you can just do is you can just click on your favorite thing and just to see if it's available for download. So for example, if I was to go to Top Gear. Now, if you have a look here, there's no little arrow to download on Series 23. But if I was to move to Series 24, then you can see it comes up with these little download things here. So if I was to tap on that arrow, it's then gonna start to download. So let's go back and let's download the Minion movie. So right now I'm gonna tap download, and it's as simple as that, it will now start downloading. Now depending on your internet speed, it will depend on how long it takes. The quicker your internet speed, the faster it's gonna to take to download. And if we were to tap down here, this little arrow here, it will then bring it up here, and it will see here, you will see it says 793 megabytes. If you just scroll down from the top of your tablet, then if you have a look closely, it will say 24% or whatever percent it is, 202 megabytes of 793 megabytes. Right, so while that's downloading there, I'm just gonna show you it working on other devices. Okay, so on this Android mobile cell phone, it's exactly the same process as before. You tap the menu up there, and then you can go to app settings, and it will tell you Wi-Fi only, standard video quality, where you wanna download it, SD card, delete all downloads if you've downloaded on too many devices. So that's exactly the same as the Amazon tablet. If we have a look at this Apple iPod device, this is an iOS device, it's the same process again. So let's tap on Netflix, tap on the menu, and then have a look. If you don't see app settings, then what it means is, it means that somebody else has signed into your account. So for example, my Netflix account has me on it, it also has my kids on it. So just what you need to do is go back to the person whose account it is. So I'm gonna tap on myself. And now, if I go to menu now, it will now bring up the app settings. So there you go, app settings. So tap there. The iOS is very similar to the Android. Now, when it comes 
Now a Windows 10 device is, it is slightly different. So this is a Windows 10 device here. It's a GPD Win, which is essentially just a mini Windows 10 laptop. Now, it will work fine if you do it via the Netflix app. But if you were to go straight to Internet Explorer and go to netflix.com or .co.uk, then it's not going to work. So if you have a look here, I've got Doctor Who. It doesn't give me any option to download it. But if I use the actual Netflix app itself, so you have to download the app rather than go in via the web browser. If I download the app, then what happens is it does give me the option. So, for example, if I was to go to... Now if you have a look here, next to the episodes, there's a little download link here and here. So if I was to tap download there, it will now start downloading. So you have to do it via the app itself rather than the web browser. Right, and you can see the white bar moving along very slowly across here. Right, so now let's go back to the Amazon device and let's see if it's downloaded. Right, okay, so if you have a look now, we've got a little tick here next to Minions. So let's just go to Home. If we go to the menu icon up here and if we go to My Downloads, now we should have the Minions movie here and we have. So if I tap that now... It will now say loading. Okay, and that's the Minions movie. But we've still got internet connection here, so let me show you it now with no internet connection. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to exit all my apps. Now we've boarded the plane, I'm going to put it on flight mode. So we're on aeroplane mode now, and now we haven't got Wi-Fi anymore. So now we should be able to still go into Netflix. And we should still now be able to play that Minions movie because it's downloaded onto the device. Now you will need to remain signed into Netflix. If I was to sign out after every single session, then when I go to on the aeroplane and try to sign back in, it's just going to say no internet connection because you need the internet connection to sign back in. So you have to make sure you're definitely signed in. So when you finish your download and before you get on that plane, you need to make sure that you're still signed into the laptop or your or your iOS device. Right, okay, so my downloads, we've got it here now. As you can see, we're on aeroplane mode. We haven't got any Wi-Fi. And if I tap this now, we will still be able to watch the movie. Okay, so that's the movie there. And it will remember where you were beforehand and pick up from that moment then. Okay, so now I'm going to take it off aeroplane mode. I'm going to sign out of Netflix, then I'm going to show you it not working. Right, okay, so now I'm going to go to sign out. Sign out from this account, sign out. Right, now let's say if you did that, so now, now we're not signed into Netflix. So even on Wi-Fi, if I was to go into Netflix now, it's going to ask me to sign in. So if now we turn the Wi-Fi off by going onto aeroplane mode, and now if you were to get on the plane and do this, it's not going to work because now it says no internet connection. So it doesn't matter what you type in here, it's not going to recognize it. We cannot detect a network connection on this device. Please check network settings to connect to an available network. So don't make that mistake. Make sure that when you exit Netflix, it is still signed in. So it says here, Sorry there is no internet connection, please connect and try again. And then it says try again, or over here it says my downloads. So I'm just going to tap on my downloads. And now these are the ones that I've downloaded previously. You can see the Doctor Who one that I've just done. So if I was to tap on Doctor Who, 
be the episode that we've just downloaded and now I'll be able to play that episode exactly as if I was streaming and now I don't have to worry about buffering or anything like that perfectly so as you can see the screen's nice there make it full screen fast forward do whatever you would normally do this is a Windows 10 laptop and I have downloaded it onto the Windows 10 laptop. I can only view whatever I've downloaded from Netflix via the Netflix app. I can't go into File Manager and do anything with it. I can't use some other software to view the movie or the documentary or the TV show that you've downloaded from Netflix. You can only do it via Netflix and that's probably to do with DRM. You can Google that if you're interested in it. Now the other thing you need to be wary of is sometimes when you're watching something, once you press play, it it might only give you 48 hours to watch that. So for example, you can download something and then three, four days into your holiday, you wanna watch it, you press play, it will be fine, it will start to play and then it will warn you that you have to complete watching this within 48 hours from the moment you've clicked play. Also, you can't store something on here if it's not on Netflix. So let's say you can't save some of your favorite films or shows thinking that Netflix is going to get rid of them. When they get rid of them, it will be gone from your downloads as well. Right. So let's pretend now that I've downloaded something on here, here, here and here. So I've used up my four devices and now I want to go and download something on this Apple device. I'm going to show you what's happened. Remember now that I'm on the premium plan and I can only download on four devices. So it's not going to affect you too much on the premium plan, but if you're on the basic plan, this could really affect you because one of your children might have downloaded something on the Amazon thing and then you're taking this one on a business trip and then you want something on it and you realize it doesn't allow you to download on it because you've still got content stored on here. What you have to do is you have to delete all downloads on the other device and then you will be able to use it on the, the new device that you want to. So at the moment I've got content on all four of these things from Netflix and now pretend I want to get it on to this little iPod here. What happens? When I go into Netflix and when I go to download, so let's say if I want to, it's now saying download failed. So when I tap on that and tap on the explanation mark up here, it says here, you have downloads on too many devices. Please remove downloads from another device or go to netflix.com change plan for plan options. So it's not allowing me to do it. So now, now let's delete the downloads from another device to enable me to download it on this Apple iPod. So let's go to this device here and delete it from here. Right, so we're going to go to here, we're going to go to my download, see what we've got here. Right, so I've got the Pixels movie on here, so I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to the menu, I'm going to go down to App Settings again. And I'm going to go down and press delete all downloads. And it says here, are you sure you want to delete all of your downloads? So I've got 474 megabytes of downloads, which is that one film. I'm going to press delete all. And now that should be deleted. So if we go have a look here, you can see there's no blue mark because remember there was 400 megabytes. So you would expect to see a tiny bit of a blue mark there which is a Netflix one. So I've got nothing there now. So let's go back to this device here. And now let's go on to retry. And now can you see it's starting to down? Right, okay, it started to download and then it's come up with an explanation mark because it says here, this title can only be downloaded one more time. So if I press download, you can now see that it's starting to download. So it looks like certain films will have limits to how many times you can download them. This is to do with licensing and stuff. So it's going to be different on different things. You might get something else which you can download numerous times. But maybe certain films you can only download two or three times. Right, okay, so there we go. That's that one there. And you can see. Now there is no limit to the amount of content that you can download to use Netflix offline. The limiting factors are going to be the storage of the device itself. So if you haven't got much storage, then by the time you start downloading some movies, then you're going to run out of storage. But if you've got plenty of storage, then you can download plenty of content. Now if you were to download loads and loads of different series of a particular show, then what you might find is that there might be some licensing agreement that says you can only download so much. But in general use, you can download what you want.
If you want to delete an individual movie rather than deleting the whole lot of them, all you've got to do is tap on the little blue icon to the right hand side. So if I tap there, you see there it will say play or delete download. If I tap delete download, it will then get rid of it. You see there, play or delete download video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.